Hello everyone, I am Daryl and welcome to my first ever episode of my Google Maps API tutorial. In this series, we will be going through what you need to know to get started with the usage of Google Maps API. And with this knowledge, you'll be able to apply it to the developments of applications such as mobile applications and web applications. This series will also be teaching you on how you can better manage the markers, get the travel time from point A to point B, and all sorts of scenarios which Google Maps API can be used to solve. In this episode of the tutorial, we will be going through step by step on how you can obtain the API key and display the map out with JavaScript on a simple HTML page. To start out, we will need to get an API key from the Google Cloud Platform Console. I will post the link to this website on the description below. Once you are on the website, you can click on Get Started, where you will be guided through the process of registering a project on the platform itself. And you will get an API key afterwards. The map API is used for displaying generic map information and placing of markers and mainly simple stuff. The routes API will allow you to get data uh, of routes from a given point A to B and such as travel time and directions based on mode transport and we will not be covering places API in this series and for the episodes we will only be touching maps API. However, we can go ahead and enable both maps API and routes API as we will be covering routes API for future episodes. Afterwards, you'll be asked to create a project. So in this project, I'm just going to call it a very simple project, which is going to be called Tutorial Series. And afterwards, you're going to create. And uh, Google Maps will basically ask you to create a billing account. And if you have not done so, you can go here and do so. I've already done it on my account, so I don't have to do the process. I can just go here and set account to it. And after you have set a billing account to it, you'll be able to get your API key itself. Do take note of the API key once you get the API key. Uh, you can copy and paste it somewhere on a notepad or something. This API key will be used for our development. Alright, so we can now get started with the development of the website. As you can see here, I have created a very simple HTML page with the name index.html. And as you can see, I have set the title to map, I have done the body, and all sorts of very simple stuff. And we're gonna, I'm going to go through step by step on how you can get started with uh, doing your map. So first, you need a script, uh, sorry, a style. And this style itself will be declaring the property map. And you want to set the i uh, the height of the map to hundred percent because if you leave, if you don't set it at hundred percent, the map itself will be at zero pixels, and it will not be displayed out because the height itself is just this is zero, and so you will be able to display out what the map is. So you want to set hundred percent, and same for the HTML in the body, you want to set the height to hundred percent so that the map canvas will uh span out and stretch, uh to fill up the entire browser. So as the margin set to zero and the padding set to zero. Right, so now we're gonna set our map canvas. So we're gonna do a divider and we're gonna set the ID to map. So this divider will contain the map itself. Right, now we're gonna call the API. So we're gonna do a script and we're gonna set the source to the Google Maps API. Uh, if you need the link to this API, it will be on the description down below. You just have to replace the API key with your own API key. So I'm just going to paste it here. As you can see, maps.googleapi. As you can see over there, it says your API here, API key here. So what you want to do is you're going to replace that uh, with your own API key. Right, and afterwards, you're going to end the script. And as you can see, uh, for now, we have declared the API and we have set the map canvas. But the only issue now is that the website does not know uh, how to set the API to the map canvas itself. So we're going to do another JavaScript that does just that. So as you can see, um, on the API itself, there's a callback function. There's a callback that does uh, init initialize map. So this init map function is basically being caught by the API itself. So when we are doing our JavaScript, we want to have a function that says init map. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and create a function in the map. So this function will be caught by the API itself and we're going to set up a variable called map and we're going to create the map itself inside of the function. So we're going to get the element by ID and we're going to set the element ID to map because that's what we set our ID for our HTML divider itself. And now we're going to set our map properties and we first off we're going to do our center which is basically declaring the center of the map and take note that you need to do this else the map will not show up. So you can set to whatever latitude or latitude 1 this is about in coordinates I'm just going to set it to 0 and 0 because it's the most important one and I'm going to set the zoom to 8. And after all this, uh, you are most. I think we are done for this. So if you we were to test out the website, you will show up. All right. So as you can see, we have finally have our map, and we are in the middle of nowhere because the coordinates is set to zero and zero, which is the middle of the ocean. So if you were to zoom out, you will be able to see the map itself. So yeah, that's all for this episode. If there's any room for improvements, do let me know because I'm also learning as I'm making this video. And at the same time, if there's any questions you guys would like to ask, do let me know. Thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!